Well, brothers, I get the privilege of talking to you today about prayer, as Rick just said, about the disruptive power of prayer. So let me tell you about a couple assumptions that I have made coming into this session. Here's assumption number one. I'm assuming that most of us here, most of the guys here today think prayer is a good thing, right? Is that a fair assumption? Like, you would say that prayer is a very good thing. To be able to talk to the God of the universe, that's a good thing. So assumption number one, prayer is a good thing. But here's assumption number two. Even though prayer is good, we're not very good at prayer, okay? I'm assuming that most of the guys here today would say, well, if I were really honest, a lot of times it feels to me like my own prayers are pretty lame. I mean, I, I say a grace over meals, I uh, shoot up a prayer when I go out the door in the morning, when a crisis hits me or somebody I love, then I dial up Heaven's 911 and I call out for help. But other than that, other than that, my prayers seem a bit, well, meager, mechanical, mundane. I think that's a fairly uh, accurate assessment and assumption for a lot of us. So if that's the case, what are we supposed to do? We think it's a good thing, but we don't think we're very good at it. Well, brothers, I'm here to tell you that it has to change. We have to get better at prayer because if we are ever to be the kind of godly leaders that we are called to be in our families or in our churches, or in our communities, we're going to have to learn to pray in a more meaningful way. If we're ever going to see God work powerfully in us and through us, we have to pray in a meaningful way. And the good news that I'm bringing you today is that change is possible. It's possible to go from where we are to a better place when it comes to prayer. I know that from studying the lives of Jesus' first disciples. If you've read the Gospels, you know that those guys didn't start out very good at prayer. At one point, they come to Jesus and said, Jesus, could you, like, teach us to pray? Another time, Jesus asks them to pray, and they fall, what? Kind of fall asleep. And yet, they changed. They changed in a way that allowed their prayers to become much more potent and powerful. In fact, their prayers disrupted the darkness and brought heaven's help to earth. And today I want to tell you the story of how they changed. Today I want to tell you the story because in their story you get the information and motivation you need to grow in your own prayers. 